Um, your old boss out on the campaign trail today. Um, we've been looking at the polling for the last uh, week or so and thinking about why this race is tightening. And one of the reasons that uh, the number crunchers have come up with is the notion that a lot of the Obama coalition is still not totally jazzed up for Hillary Clinton. How, do you think your boss, even without his name on the ballot, can help her with that group or those groups? Oh, yeah, absolutely. As an incumbent president who has such high numbers, his uh, his usefulness crosses uh, geographies, it crosses demographics. I think that he's going to be very helpful in a bunch of places. But just like you mentioned, it's the Obama coalition that really needs to get brought on board in a really serious, enthusiastic way. And not a lot of people can do that like the president. So she's lucky to have a surrogate like that. Donald Trump doesn't have anything that even approaches that. Yeah, I, I, mean, I, I, I just will press you on a little bit, Bill, just because because it's the case, right? I mean, as you point out, Barack Obama's approval rating super high. He's still beloved by his voters. And yet there's no, not very many people in the Obama coalition who don't know that Barack Obama's for Hillary Clinton. And yet it's still the case like, with a lot of African-American voters, a lot of Hispanic voters. She's not show, seeing the enthusiasm. So what more can he do for her? He's going to be on the campaign trail, but what more can he do to help actually close the sale with those voters and get them riled up? Well, you know, I've worked for four different presidential candidates and one president, and I've seen a lot of presidential campaigns. And I mean, I'm not as old as you, but I have seen a lot. And what, what, what I, Thanks, where I learned the most <laughs> was John Kerry's campaign when I was just a regional press secretary. And we would put surrogates into different media markets. And what we saw was that, depending on the strength of your surrogate, if you put somebody into Milwaukee or Des Moines or Minneapolis, you could see a bump in the numbers after they came. Hillary Clinton has this stable of awesome surrogates led by President Obama who can go into a market and specifically target that geography and get people jazzed up. People may know that President Obama supports Hillary Clinton, but it's, that's different from him coming to town, doing an event, getting people fired up, being on the front page of the newspaper, leading the local newscasts, and actually getting that appreciable bounce uh, in the polls sort of target by target. Bill Burton, you're speaking my language. You and I were both on that campaign of 04. But how, if all those things are true, that's how we used to do things in the Republican Party, as Ed remembers. We used to target by county where you had to tick up your support to, you know, make the state turn in your favor. And every, you are your bus and mine, we used to cross each other on the highways in Wisconsin and Ohio. Trump <laughs> is not playing that game. And are you completely confident that Hillary Clinton has adapted to his asymmetrical warfare? It doesn't seem like the polls reflect this obvious advantage in strategy and infrastructure. One of my favorite uh, memories of the crisscross on the campaign trail was when both President Bush and John Kerry were in Davenport, Iowa, and there were like six bank robberies that day in the metro because all the cops were all tied up. And, we all, and we all got bumped off the news because of it. I do remember yeah, that. Exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly right. Um, no, she's not adapting to his asymmetrical warfare. And sometimes because the media is covering this in a different way than uh, voters consume it and voters uh, participate, I don't know that she has to, even though it might look clunky up against the kind of warfare that Donald Trump is employing. I think the fact that she's using data, she's out there working county by county, she's got her surrogates out there doing it, that's the path to winning. It's not Donald Trump lead the press around by the nose with his Twitter feed uh, with, with like something out, more and more outlandish every single day. It's how do you get in there, talk to voters, be in the places that matter, and move swing states into your column. Ed, really quick, I have to get back yeah. to you because I think I'm in your basket of uh, Republican angst. Um, what <laughs> do you feel more stressed about, waking up and having Hillary Clinton have won or waking up and having Donald Trump have won? Well, I wake up having Republicans having lost the Senate. That's my number one stress level. I'm more anxious about that than anything else. I don't see a downdraft building. Hillary's certainly not building a wave campaign that's going to sweep out a bunch of Republicans. Doesn't look like the floor is falling out from underneath Tom Donald Trump. So I'm sort of dodging your question on that, but that's, that's how I feel. It's okay, in, in the basket, I don't know. I don't that's know. fine. <laughs> okay. All right, Ed Rogers, do question dodging Ed Rogers little and bit, little young, bit. Bill, young Bill Burton, younger than me, apparently, <laughs> according to Bill. It's true. Um, unfortunately, I mean, it's true. Check Wikipedia. Um,